everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor and today we're going to create a roof. I'm going to show you an easy way actually to do it and one that looks good. It's pretty low poly um, so you should be able to use it in most scenes. And the last thing I want to say is it's quite uh, tedious creating a roof but I'm going to show you some quick and simple ways to get around a lot of the tediousness. Still some of it is still there. I have speeded some of it up so it's not quite as long winded and please watch it till the end because in the end we actually look at how we can make it tileable. So with that said let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a plane and we're going to press the end button and we're going to make sure it's set to two meters which it should be and I'm only going to create a very small roof because creating a huge roof is going to be very tedious for you guys so I'll only create a small one. Next thing we'll do is we'll add a cube so what we'll do now is we'll come over to dimensions and we'll type 25 centimeters in, tab 25 centimeters, tab 2.2 centimeters. I found this to be a very good size for a roof tile. So let's uh, press the dot button on the numpad and zoom in a little bit. So now we'll grab our roof tile and we'll move it over to in the corner like that. You can go above it and check to see where it is. Let's just move it a little bit in. And now we'll press 3 on the number pad and bring it up just so it's above the uh, ground plane like so. So now what I want to do is set the orientation. So come round to this corner here and in vertice select, select this corner, press shift S and cursor to selected, press tab button, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. And the reason why we set the uh, orientation to here is now when we uh, make them bigger on the Y or the x-axis, they all come from this angle which makes it much easier to create our roof. So now we'll just round our ends off, so press the tab button, make sure you invert to select, select this vertice and this vertice, press ctrl B and just bring it in and now just put it to 2 on this number of segments, just click this button here and now we'll go into face select and we'll delete this face, so delete faces and this face and now we'll go to vert select and we'll select all these vertices here except this one and this one and then right click and put bridge edge loops and let's do the same for the top and then we're going to have a nice clean mesh to start with so right click bridge edge loops so now what we'll do is we'll mark the seam so let's grab um, all the verts uh, going around uh, the bottom of it and then let's grab these verts in here and the reason why we're marking seams straight away is because when we come to duplicate this um, this roof tile. If we've marked all the seams out already, it means that all the other tiles that we're duplicating will always be ready and unwrapped for us. So it saves us a real pain in the ass trying to unwrap um, 100 tiles. So let's right click now and mark seams. Press the tab button, press Ctrl A, rotation and scale. So that's going to reset that for us. Press tab button once more, let's highlight everything and let's just go into our UV editing just to make sure that it's unwrapped correctly. So let's zoom in with the dot on the number pad, press U for unwrap and now you can see they're unwrapped very nicely. Now let's go back into modeling, dot once more on the number pad, press the tab button, come up to object and click on smooth shading. Come over to the triangle, click on normals and click auto smooth and now set this up a little bit just to smooth the edges off of the tile. Press Ctrl 3 to go into side view, zoom out a little bit and now we're going to come over to rotation and I'm going to set this to minus 6, I found that's the right angle for this size tile. Shift space and go to the move button, Shift D and let's move our tile now across to just under this tile. Then you can grab them both, Shift D again, enter and bring them over and now basically you want to keep bringing them over till they reach the end of here so let's grab all four shift D and it doesn't matter if they don't line up uh, perfectly underneath and now let's grab these two and shift D and finally bring these ones over as well okay press 7 on the number pad to go over the top come to the grease pencil and let's just mark a little line in here this is where we want it to come to Click on this button over here, the move tool, that will take off your grease pencil and now we can hide the actual plane. So let's press H to hide that. Press the B button and grab all these tiles, press Shift D and bring them over. Don't worry too much about what the gap looks like in here. Now let's press B again, grab them again, Shift D, bring them over, B, Shift D. And now finally grab the whole lot, 
and just bring them back a little bit. Grab the grease pencil once more, hold down control and just uh, delete that off and then come back to the move. Double tap A to deselect everything. Okay, come up to where it says select and click select random, this one here. Come down to where this is open, it'll probably say 50% on here. Just change this to 25% and then you'll have something like this. So now come up to here and click on individual origins and now press SX and we can change the scale on the X axis. And because we have the orientation on these corners, you can see now it's very easy to pull them across. Press SY and we can also change the scale of the length of the tiles. Press Ctrl 3 to go into side view. Let's zoom in a little bit and now press RX and we can pull them up just a tiny little bit. Press 7 again to go to top view and now we can hide those ones and now we're just going to come up to select and select random again and now we'll make these ones a little bit smaller so SX bring them in a tad and SY and bring them up a little bit Control 3 back into side view and we'll bring these ones down on the X axis so RX and bring them down just slightly like so 7 again and let's hide those back up to select, select random and these ones I'll just change very slightly on the Y axis. Control 3 and I'll move these just slightly up on the X axis. 7 once more and let's click H for hide. And finally the last one so select random. And if you're not happy with the seed just click this up and then it'll pick some different tiles for you. And now I'll just make these a little bit bigger on the Y axis and a little bit bigger on the X axis like so and finally control 3 and I'll just rotate these just a little bit down on the X axis. Press 7 again and press Alt H and now we'll double tap the A button and now we want to make sure that these down the sides are different. You want it to be um, every other one in and then out just to make it uh, appear like it's more random. So let's start with the top one. So what I'll do with the top one is I'll move this out so I'll focus on going down this side first so let's move this one out a little bit this one out a bit more and we're basically trying with the aim of getting it just to be as random as possible seeming so let's move this one in and finally we'll move this one like that just make sure that you don't do it too much and make them stand out too far also it'll just look unnatural so let's bring them that one back a little bit and now what we need to focus on is this line going down. We don't want too many tiles in the same straight line. So let's come to this one first. SX, let's bring this one in. We can leave that one as it is. You can see that one's uh, nice there. This one also is good. And just work your way down and just have a look to make sure that they're all looking, again, as random as possible. So with that one done now, we can now come to the top and start moving the tiles around and making sure that they're different lengths and they're different um, widths away from each other. So let's look at this one for instance and move this one in place. And because it's a big tile on this way, let's move it a bit bigger on the x-axis just to make it a little bit bigger. And next to it, let's put a small one just to give it a lot more randomness. So we'll just carry on moving along and you can uh, speed this up. I'll put a timestamp in the bottom uh, for where you need to go. It's important that you watch this to the end. Um, because at the end we're actually going to show you how to actually tile these uh, tiles. So with this one I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to bring it out and then I'm going to put another tile in between there. So perhaps a little bit even smaller than that. And then Shift D, bring it over and then SX and bring it in. And finally let's make it smaller on the Y axis. And now we can start with our uh, second row of tiles. And now I'll speed this part up. And you can see all I'm doing here is literally just moving the tiles into place, um, pulling the ones out that are a little bit uh, smaller or a bit too big, and just generally trying to uh, make the tiles just as randomly as possible, and taking special care when, when I'm putting a tile in place that they're kind of halfway between so that there's no tiles where there's any kind of long lines either going from left to right on the roof or from the top of the roof to the bottom. Um, I think that's important to uh, to give it that um, air of randomness. A lot of um, roofs I see that are created in 3D, um, even though they're old buildings, they're still created in a way that makes them look like a new build house or new build building, something like that. 
So we're just trying to get that out out of the uh, the way. And the thing is about um, old roof tiles, if you go and look at them, or even if you look at some of the stylized roofs you might see in 3D modeling, they're very um, different in size. Um, the range is quite broad, so you ain't got so much to worry about in the roof tiles all have to be the same kind of uh, shape or same size or anything like that. And now you can see now it's finished how random they look. I've took special care just to make sure that these ones here are not that too different. And now that's all that's left to do is just do the top. So let's uh, bring these up a little bit and just make them a bit uneven at the top. So like so. And try not to go past where the plane is underneath. So we can still see the plane is underneath. So just make them a bit more random. That one's okay. Now we are going to have a support on the top but just in case you don't or just in case you can see actual the tiles on the top that's why we've done it like this. So the last thing to do now is hide this plane so click this plane press the H button over the top again press B to highlight them all shift D enter bring them over click on this bottom tile or any other tile press ctrl J join them all up and now we're just going to bring them close to these tiles and now we're going to try and make them all line up. So let's come to this tile first and press S and X and bring it in. And just make sure that they line up along this edge here. Just so you've got a little gap down the bottom of them. And now scroll out and let's delete this part, highlight everything, shift D, bring them down. And again, what you want to do is click on one of the tiles, control J to join them all up. And now we feel free to move them into place. So just make sure that they're under the same distance as what the other tiles are. So you can see here, this gap comes, needs to come back a slight bit. And now you can start work and make sure that all the tiles are basically covering all the tiles underneath it. And now what happens is if you basically take this to the top, you will see now that they're also covering the top, which means now that this uh, roof tile is now tileable. And the other thing is if you press Alt H now and you bring back in your plane, if you click on your plane, press the tab button and just extrude it out. And now you've got a back in for the back of your tiles so that you can't actually see through them and on this you would put something like a wood texture or something like that and you can actually bring it out a bit so now if we grab our tiles so let's first of all just delete this plane we won't need it for this uh, tutorial press 7 B again let's uh, join them all up so control J and now we can right click set origin to geometry and also don't forget we've also unwrapped all these tiles so when we come to uh, UV uh, editing which I'll show you now so if we highlight them all go to UV editing grab them all come to UV and click pack islands and now you can see that they're all packed and if it's a seamless uh, texture for instance that you've got to put on these tiles you just press S and you can move them all out and then they'll all have a, a roof tile texture on them so now let's go finally back into modeling press the tab button and now let's rotate them on the on the x-axis like so and then shift D enter and let's bring them round so R Z 180 and now we can bring them together like so move them over and there you have the roof tiles all done and looking really good double tap A and there you can see you've got a very nice roof Okay everyone, that's it for today. I hope you liked that tutorial and I'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe if you did like it and check out my online courses below. Thanks a lot. See you on the next one. Bye bye.